Hello again. So we'll be solving the transposition of a matrix. So we'll do it uh, in uh, both ways. So first we will be storing the new matrix in a, in, a, in a new matrix. So the transposition in a new matrix. And the second one we will be permuting the same elements of uh, uh, the matrix. So let's take uh, uh, an example. So uh, we have here uh, uh, a matrix, for example, for uh, 3, 2, 1, 3, 4, 0, 1, 2. So it shouldn't, there's no need to be uh, a, a square matrix. So let's take it like this. So it's a 4 by 3. And then I need to uh, do the uh, transposition. So the, the lines, the rows will be columns and the columns will be uh, rows. So for example, this column will be a row and then this one and this one. So this is the uh, transposition of the first matrix. So the first uh, version we will, uh, uh, for example, if this is called the uh, M, so we'll call this uh, T. And on the second version, we will use the same M, so we will modify the same elements in the uh, matrix. So let's start. So in the first version, so we have two matrices, M, again, of dimension size, size. And we'll have a T for transposition, again, of size, size. And then we need the dimensions. So here we have two dimensions. So they are called R and C. And of course, we need uh, I and J for loops. So first, we need to read the uh, uh, number of rows. So print F. Enter the number of rows. Scan F. Percentage D. and address of R and R should be uh, between uh, 1 and 50 so R couldn't be less or equal to 0 or R is greater than size so this is for uh, the number of uh, rows and we need the number of columns so I will copy paste enter the number of columns and I will read C and again C should be in between 0 and a size and then I need to read the uh, matrix so for I equal to 0 I less than R here I plus plus and for J equal to 0 J less than C number of columns J plus plus and I would print F enter M percentage D percentage D and then we'll have scan F percentage D address of M I J and we have read the matrix so I will uh, print it again so uh, uh, just for to, to show it on the screen so this is the old out, uh, uh, output so I will do that so for Let's say print F matrix and for I equal to zero, I less than so I will print F so we don't need a scan F. We print percentage for D M of I J. And after finishing one row, I will print F, so it's out, outside of the inner loop, I will print a backslash N. So let's take an example just from here. So I need, uh, uh, let's say, 4 by 3. So 4 rows and 3 columns. So I will remove some of these. So let's run. So OK, this is a 4 uh, by 3 matrix. Then I need to do the... Uh, transposition so I need to fill the uh, T matrix so if for example uh, we have uh, so uh, 4 will remain 4 3 will remain 3 and 2 will remain 2 so the diagonals won't change so we know that so let's take for example this 0 here so in, in, in the old matrix in M it's on the third row and the first column so it's equal so this one is M so 2 zero so if we look well so this zero it become what it become t zero two let's check the one here so 
the one here should be equal to, to t03 however here is equal to m30 so you should know well that what we have done is that we place in t of ij what we have in mji or we place in T, uh, tji what we have in mij so for that we need also to uh, so we need to loop over all the elements of the uh, matrix so we need four loops two for loops so they are the same and inside for each row so what I will do I will just I don't know what happened here so insert for hmm? so we need just to uh, fill the matrix T so you could either place TGI equal to MJI MIJ or the reverse or TI J would be equal to M J I the same. So we know that we need just to swap D and uh, the uh, number of row with the number of columns and uh, so that so just that. So let's print the uh, screen. So the transposition of the screen, the matrix screen transposition. So we need to uh, so R from C and here, however, we need to uh, print. Uh, t t however the numbers of rows become the number of columns and the number of columns becomes the number of rows so let's uh, execute and see so yes this is the first column it becomes now 2 minus 8 to 0 7 6 4 7 and 6 5 5 minus 2 so let me repeat quickly so the the, the uh, trick here just is that i need to place in t of j of i m of i of j and then while printing, I need to uh, uh, be, make sure that I'm the number of rows now is the number of columns, and the number of columns is now the number of rows. So if the matrix here is 4 by 3, the output matrix, the transposition matrix, is uh, 3 by 4. So this is uh, when we are using a, a new matrix. So now I will uh, resolve this uh, exercise. So it's here the second part where we are not allowed to use a second matrix so i will erase this and we need to do the permutation inside the uh, 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 the first matrix so how can we uh, do that so let me uh, take an example here so i will erase so i will take the same example that we are using here so two seven six minus 8 6 and 5 2 4 5 0 7 and minus 2 so how can we do that so we know that the output will preserve the diagonal so look well we have 2 6 and 5 and 2 6 and 5 there are still in the same position so at index 0 0 1 1 and 2 2 they are preserved so what are what changes here is that the elements that are either uh, that are in the in the lower triangle or the uh, upper uh, triangle so what we will do is that we need to swap this element with this element and this so with this and this with this and then we have a, a problem a small problem here is that if the matrix is not square i have also one row additional row that i need to place it here so this uh, case here i will uh, deal it uh, deal with it later however whenever we are so we, we know that the index of minus 8 is equal to 1 0 so i need to, to swap it with the index of 0 1 so uh, let me use uh, another color here so the index here is 1 0 and here is 0 and 1 so I need to swap the index of m 0 1 with m 1 0 uh, 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 so the 7 will, k will be here and then minus 8 will be here and you should pay attention that I need just to work with one side so one triangle because when swapping I will be doing both sides because I will swap in two values so at the end this one will be uh, the transposition and of, uh, the, of the lower one and vice versa so I don't need to do the swapping of all the matrix just one part so either the lower part or the uh, upper uh, part and then so this is uh, the, the, the for this part however for this one 
So it could have, so we, maybe we have uh, the matrix that we have at the beginning. So the number of rows is greater than the number of columns, or we have the number of columns greater of the number of rows. So for that, I will uh, pick the maximum number. So I will, if the number of rows is bigger, so I will work on the number of rows. If the number of columns is bigger, I will work on the number of columns. So the bigger the number, I will choose it in order to be able to do the transposition because for example here if i choose to just to do the transposition for uh, three and it means uh, i will work just on the number of columns i will skip this one and the matrix at the end will be uh, just like this so two six five i have here minus eight uh, two uh, here we'll have seven six and we have here five and four and the other three elements will remain here and this is wrong so let me uh, uh, do that here and we'll see uh, how it will work so we'll keep the reading of r and c we will keep reading the matrix and displaying the matrix however way while um, uh, doing the transposition i need to work with the same matrix so in order to do the swapping i need an auxiliary variable let's call it augs and uh, we will start so here as I have said I cannot start from R or C because maybe example here the number of rows is greater than the number of columns so I will be skipping one of these uh, elements so for that I need here to place a maximum so the maximum between uh, R and C so I will write directly if R is greater than C return R or return C so this is the conditional expression so and we need also a max here so for i equal to zero i less than max so i need to pick the maximum of the number of rows and columns and pay attention here so whenever i'm uh, doing the number of rows the number of iteration i will not traverse all the number of columns so as you as you can see i will just because for example the diagonal is already done and whenever i'm working with one part of the triangle i will be doing the other part so i need to start either from i plus 1 to maximum or from 0 to i minus 1. So you can pick either here from 0 to uh, from i plus 1. It means that we will work on the upper diagonal till maximum or you can say for this is where we work on the lower diagonal from j equal to 0 j is less than i j plus plus. So this is for the upper diagonal and this is for the lower diagonal. So whenever I'm working with the upper diagonal, I need to uh, uh, switch uh, to e exchange 7 with minus 8. So ij with ji. So m, I will save mij within aux. mij would be equal to mji. And then we'll place ox in this. And at the end, of course, the number of rows and columns will be uh, exchanged also. So I will uh, display, so this will remain the same. However, here I will, I will display just now. So let's run and see the output. So, okay, it's the same. Okay, why? So let me repeat. So for the exchange, I uh, have done, uh, so I have looped. Uh, the on the maximum number of rows and columns in order to uh, take into account especially when we have an array that is not a square and then i have worked just on either the lower the uh, lower elements uh, low that uh, are beneath the diagonal or uh, above the diagonal so we call it the lower triangle or the upper triangle here so i'm starting from j plus one so if i is equal to zero i'm starting from here and then and of course always it's after the diagonal so i'll be working on i'm looping on the upper diagonal on the upper triangle and i'm swapping the elements with the lower diagonal so here it's easy and then i have printed the element so you could have done this uh, the, the here the same so it's it's the same so uh, and we have the transposition. So this exercise is not easy. It's not like the 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 part where we uh, uh, do the, the transposition into a new matrix. And again, so this is it for this exercise. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to drop me a message, and I will answer you back. And again, thanks for watching.